Chiefs, and that's the game. A nice 23rd win for the SLU players and coaching staff on Friday in D.C. Corey Tate, a member of that staff, is a terrific basketball coach. At Mineral Area Junior College as the head coach, he won 250 games in 11 years. But more important than X's and O's on the court is the X's and O's he gives off the court, meaning his players love him and he loves his players. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you the life of the St. Louis University assistant coach, Corey Tate. Hey. <laughs> he look cute. <laughs> he just built a relationship with us to where it's like we locked in forever. Right here. I don't care about that. Love you, man. He's a loving guy. Every day I walk in the gym, walk in his office, I talk to him. He give me a handshake. He tell me he loves me. Oh! You are looking at the associate head coach of the Billikens. Come on, shot. 47-year-old Corey Tate, who may have a PhD in relationships. He's the best that I've seen at relationships. That's why he does know about the fifth graders and the sixth graders and the seventh graders. Could you give me the list of the three best fifth graders in town right now? I could. Go right back at it. Go right back at it. Perhaps because he was one himself. Tate led the area in scoring at Patton. This is uh, going to go down as one of the classic games. This is Kansas in 1997. Corey Tate's reaction right when he let it go, he knew it was in. I've heard about it and seen it a lot. Tate has seen everything and is everywhere, scouting all the talent at high school games. And he's connected to everybody. Here he is at the Pattonville game. The coach of the Pirates is Kelly Thames, who was Corey's teammate at Mizzou. Kelly's son is Kellen, the school's all-time leading scorer. Scored more points than Corey, actually. And Tate has recruited Kellen to slew for next season. Corey refers to Kellen as his nephew. Then there's the Yuri Collins connection. I coach Yuri's coach. Fred Thatch. When I used to coach at Mineral Area, I coached Fred Cousins. TJ Hargrove. I have family that's from East St. Louis. From TJ. And he starts the relationships at a very young age. Hello, partner. You don't hear me with your hair now. You started recruiting Jordan Goodwin at what age? Jordan was probably 13 years old. Something dog. Tate connects early with the kid, and he doesn't stop connecting. What you do is your two days off. A lot of coaches, they substance this basketball. Well, I say it's a lifetime for me. Finish, TJ, finish. Get back, Tate, Tate. I recruit you, it's for a lifetime. It's not for, you know, the four years or just playing the basketball. That's just part of it. So I think these guys understand that I'm gonna be there. They can call me after they're done playing and I'm gonna pick up the phone. I'm gonna be there when they get married. I'm gonna be there, you know, when they have kids. I'm gonna be there, you know, when things don't go well. So they know they can always call me for that. Do you think you'll know him when you're 35? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I plan on knowing this man for the rest of my life. I mean, he's a, he's definitely somebody I would want in my life to just mentor me. How you doing? Uh, you all right? Everybody, I want to make them feel important. Keep going, keep going. Why is Corey good at getting all the great talent in St. Louis? I just feel like he can relate to a lot of us. Finish, big dog, finish. There you go. He came from a lot of places a lot of us came from. He didn't been through a lot we didn't been through, saw a lot we didn't saw, so I feel like he can relate to us in many different ways. Oh! Have you ever met anybody that doesn't like Corey Tate? You don't find anybody that doesn't like Corey Tate, because that's the type of person he is. Oh, man, Corey Tate, he is a man of the people, that's for sure.